Welcome to this Ruminant Science Conversation brought to you by Adiseo. Welcome to today's Adiseo Ruminant Science Podcast. I am Dr. Shane Ferdine, the Adiseo Director for our Ruminant Specialties and Solutions category. Today we'll be talking with Dr. Luis Ferrato. Luis is an assistant professor at the University of Wisconsin-Madison in the Animal Science Department, as well as an extension specialist in dairy nutrition. Luis, welcome. It's great to have you today. Today, Let's talk about the transition period and why it's important to maximize nutrient levels from feedstuffs. What is happening during the transition period and why is this so critically important? Hi, Shane. Thanks for the opportunity of being here today. It's a, it's a pleasure. Uh, that, that's a great question. Uh, the transition period is a, it's a key part of the dairy cow's uh, lactation. And basically, uh, it's, it's, it's the period where everything is changing, right? And because of these changes, hormonal changes, physical changes, right? Uh, with the parturition, the calf leaving the animal, uh, open space for the rumen to expand again, right? There are a lot of different changes in hormones going on. And because of that, uh, there are some issues that the dairy cow face during this specific period, right? I think that uh, from a nutrient or a nutrition perspective, the most important thing is that that particular cow has very high energy and other nutrient requirements. However, she cannot consume enough feed to fulfill those mm -hmm. requirements, right? So all the time that we see uh, a greater need for nutrients than you can consume, similar to what humans would do in their diet sometimes when they want to lose weight, right? It's mm -hmm. lose, uh, they will be losing body fat, sometimes uh, body mass. And because of that is a, a lot of concerns because can create... Uh, can create a lot of different issues and metabolic disorders. So higher fiber digestibility and rates of digestion may benefit transition cows. Can you share additional insights on these? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, from my perspective, fiber digestibility is key, not only for transition cows, but throughout the entire lactation. Uh, given those issues that uh, fresh cows have to consume enough dry matter, I think fiber digestibility can be a key thing, right? Mm -hmm. Usually uh, the issue that we have with fiber not being so digestible is that it stays in the rumen for longer because mm -hmm. it requires uh, reduction in particle size as well as a pre-digestion or partial digestion in order to leave the rumen uh, and go to the through the reticulum and then amazing and amazing. Uh, if you are able to increase fiber digestibility, uh, especially of forages, you, you are able to have cows consume more and consequently uh, help with or mitigate part of this issue of negative energy balance. Yeah, that's a great point. What are the general trends you are seeing in the area of enhancing fiber digestion, particularly when it comes to transition cows? So in terms of fiber digestibility, uh, I think there are different areas that could be focused on to increase fiber digestibility. Obviously, there are multiple management uh, practice uh, during uh, the forage production uh, portion uh, that helps a lot. For example, hybrid selection, harvesting forages at the correct maturity. Uh, but in addition to that, today we, we know that there are uh, different additives, uh, enzymes, uh, as well as direct fat microbials uh, that can help with this process, right? I think in the transition cow period specifically, uh, there are not a lot of studies available uh, in the literature that, that show uh, very specific strategies, but some of the most common studies in this area show uh, forages with greater digestibility due to hybrid selection. Mm -hmm. And because of that, the animals consume more and consequently have lower negative energy balance, translating to a benefit, right? However, I want to emphasize that uh, sim uh, when we go throughout the lactation, 
when we find other alternatives, such as some of those additives that can have a similar impact on fiber digestibility, the response is supposed to be the same. Okay. One category of feed additives that can help at transition are natural fungal fermentation products. Please tell us more about these, their mode of action, and how they could be used in transition cow diets. Yeah, so, so basically those natural fungal fermentation products is uh, another option uh, to improve fiber digestibility. Uh, those, those specific additives uh, are very rich in enzymes. Uh, obviously, there are multiple types of fungal fermentation products, but uh, with regard to the transition cow, it is my opinion that those that have uh, good amounts of uh, fibrolytic enzymes would be key, right? And, and the way this would work is if you are adding either an exogenous enzyme or, or this compound containing those enzymes, basically uh, the enzymes is supposed to pre-degrade uh, the, the fiber or alternatively help break down some of the connections between lignin, which is the indigestible portion of the fiber and cellulose and hemicellulose, which is the digestible portion of the fiber, uh, and then make it more, either more susceptible for digestion or pre-digested so the animal can utilize those nutrients faster and consequently the feeds will pass faster through the rumen and allow the animal to consume more. Uh, one last question before we kind of get to the big picture concept with the higher forage content, particularly at higher NDF content in transi transition dairy cows, whether it's coming from lower indigestible uh, forages or possibly even from straw, could these fungal fermentation products be uh, even more impactful then in those uh, close up rations or transition cow rations? Yeah, absolutely. It becomes even more important, right? Because uh, those less digestible forages are the forages that, that typically will stay longer in the rumen, uh, require uh, more particle breakdown, uh, longer to digest. So if, if you are able to have a product that facilitates the breakdown, the breakdown of those less digestible forages, certainly uh, these are the diets that will have the greater benefits. Okay. So I guess in summary or big picture, what can you recommend to our listeners today, both from a management standpoint, as well as a uh, nutrition standpoint, to be able to maximize the nutritional quality for transition dairy cows? Yep. So the main goal is to find alternatives to improve and optimize dry matter intake, right? Obviously, Fiber digestibility is one of the aspects that limit intake. So being able to find the strategies that increase fiber digestibility so cows can consume more is key. In addition to that, it's very important to promote a feeding environment that is, uh, if possible, free of stress, right? Mm -hmm. uh, a good feed environment where the cows will be able to not only consume the feed, uh, but also avoid other issues associated with stress that will compromise part of the digestion process and consequently intake and cause some other metabolic disorders. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, Luis. We really appreciate you stopping by our podcast today. Uh, for this podcast, as well as podcasts similar to it, please visit adiseo.com and add a sale uh, for more information. Thank you. This concludes today's Ruminant Science Conversation brought to you by Adiseo.